Hey everybody, it's Brian. Today we're going to be discussing logical operators. What are logical operators? Well, let's just jump right in and I will show you. The ampersand equals an AND. The pipe character equals an OR. And let's see here, the exclamation equals NOT. There is another one. Um, it is the caret equals XOR or exclusive OR. Now what do these do? Let's cover the AND first. AND is the easiest to understand. We'll say int x equals 0. hope if I could spell it. And int y equal 1. And you'll say if x equals 0 and y equal 1, As you can guess what's going on with this code as I'm feverishly typing. Print line. You're saying both x and y have to equal a certain value. So we're saying if x equals 0 and y equal 1, then system print line, yes. Save our work, run it. Yes. So if we change y to 2, will this run? We're executing this entire block here. Remember, we're saying if x equals 0 and y equal 1. Well, you see y does not equal 1, so nothing happens. We could put an else in here. And that way we can see exactly what's going on. Uh-oh. Errors exist. Mm -hmm. What errors do I have here? Oh, I see what's going on. I have an extra one in there. You can see no. So that is the AND statement. Now the OR statement is we're saying either one of those can be true. X equals 0 or Y equal 1. I'm just going to tick always save. There we go. So yes. Why is this saying yes? Because X is 0. It says x equals 0, so it doesn't even go any further. It says we've already satisfied that expression. Now the not operator is very simple. Let's just do if x, and we'll say not equal 5. If x not equal 5, then print yes, otherwise print no. You can see x is 0, so guess which one it's going to do and it says yes. So what you're really saying is not equal. Remember the two equal signs mean equal. Exclamation equal means not equal. And one thing you should remember that is if you just do x equal you're actually assigning the value to x. You're not actually checking the expression. So there's no x is not equal 5. If we switch this to not equal, then yes. So that's how the not operator works. Now the XOR, XOR is a little confusing to me. Um, it's all about bit shifting. I'm not really going to cover it because I A, don't fully understand it, and B, I hardly ever see it used out in the real world. So um, really, I'll try to cover the syntax, but bear with me here. We'll just simply say system out dot print line and we will say x x or y whoops help if I actually put that in the brackets so we're just going to print out x exclusive or to y see what it says it says 2 now why does it say 2 well I don't really have a diagram like my beautiful Sun Certified Java Programmer book does, but an exclusive OR basically looks at it in terms of binary representations, a bunch of zeros and ones, and it says it'll take one over the other. For example, let's just flip this and we'll say Y exclusive OR X, and it still says two. So no matter how you represent that, it's still going to do the same thing. 
because it's an exclusive or. It's looking at it in the, the bit level. You see we have two different statements here. Y exclusive or to X, X exclusive or to Y. Now when we run this, you should get the same results, two and two. That's an exclusive or. Um, it's kind of a holdover from the old C++ days. Um, I know I'm probably going to get hate mail for saying that because there are people out there that do use the exclusive or, or XOR as it's called. There's actually encryption with XOR, which I wouldn't recommend. Anyways, that's all we got time for today. I thank you for watching and I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.